Before we get started with your reading, if you could please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. You can send me a regular email or you can send me a message on Instagram. You can also find me on TikTok now doing weekly readings. And I would like to thank everybody for all the donations, the comments, the likes, and all the personal emails you've been sending me. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio at the foundation, please? Eight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy at the foundation. Okay. Okay. This is all about work. This is all about you mastering your crafts, you enjoying what you're doing right now, Scorpio. I feel like this has been a long, long time coming. You guys have worked yourself up to a point where you actually enjoy what you like doing for work, however that shows up for you. Imagine that, huh? Actually enjoying what you do for work. King of Cups, Scorpio, or Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy at the sacral. So this is this very, well, it's a very empathetic energy, right? It's a... It's a very supportive energy, but it's also a leader. I feel like this is you guys. You guys are just really in your power right now. Okay, what do we have at the solar plexus? Page of Swords in reverse. These are these onlooking energies, Scorpio, okay? Um, a lot, a lot of jealous, jealous energy around you guys. Um, people that most likely ruled you out Treated you like a dirty dog in an alleyway, right? Left you for dead, this kind of energy. And now it's like they didn't think that this was going to happen. They didn't think that you were actually going to up-level. And actually, it's almost like you're lapping them. I just saw like a racetrack and like you're lapping them. This sort of energy. And they just were not expecting this at all. Okay, what do we have at the heart position? Six of Wands. Wow. Okay, so if there was going to be a uh, a card that would talk about that sort of victory energy of lapping someone, it would be the Six of Wands. Okay, so this is all related to this victory, right? This recognition of your talents, this recognition of what you're putting out into the world finally, right? You're finally seeing, you're finally, you're finally getting like this well, it's reciprocity, right? For all you've been putting out there for so long. You guys have been so patient. You guys have been really diligent. And you guys have been working really hard and you haven't faltered, right? You haven't fallen in on yourself and, I don't know, just found yourself in that victim mentality. You just kept it pushing. And now it's like, here you are. Nine of Wands at the throat, right? So it's this persistent energy, but you've created these boundaries while you've been doing this, which has been allowing you to have this protective sort of bubble around you as you've been up-leveling into this new, well, it's like a new, um, it's like a new level on your ascension, right? Two of Cups, Cancer Energy at the third eye. So this is how you're seeing your outside environment now. It's just this very giving and receiving energy, and it's all about this, um, I feel like this is you and the divine Scorpio is what it comes down to. It's like you're really you've really been putting yourself out there and helping other people, however that shows up for you. And now it's like the divine is blessing you, right? It's like you have all this good karma coming your way. Okay, what do we have at the crown? And if this isn't if this isn't you yet, this could be future energy. Um, you guys are all gonna be on different parts of this journey, but this is the energy that's available, okay? Um, but this is also going to be speaking to a lot of you guys that are at this point right now. A lot of you guys are going through this right now. Five of Wands at the crown, right? So all these people who tried to stop you, God, this Five of Wands keeps coming out in the Scorpio readings. Um, it's like this gang stalking energy, and I keep mentioning it, but a lot of you guys dealt with death attempts. A lot of you guys dealt with death threats, gang stalking, um, just all sorts of crazy stuff. People, see, the thing is, it's like when you're on these sort of journeys, this is the type of energies you get opposed with. Just this crazy ass five of wands, people doing things, acting out of their character because they get these. D See what happens is, right? It's like you're up leveling, you're helping the collective or however that shows up for you. And then these demon entities come and attach themselves to these people around you that are sort of vibrating out of this lower vibrational place. And it's like they're like overtaken by demon entities and those demon entities then try to stop you gang stalking you trying to kill you all this stuff but then it's like those demon entities leave those people and those people just 
feel like they, they don't understand what they've done, right? They don't understand, I can't believe I tried to kill a Scorpio. Why did I do that? Well, it's because they had a demon entity attachment on them. But that doesn't... That's no excuse, right? The thing is, the entities can only attach to them because they're vibrating on this lower vibrational frequency. So they more or less laid out the laid out the carpet, right? Laid out, rolled out the rug for them, Scorpio, right? Rolled out the rug for these demon entities to come and attach themselves to them. Some of these people wanted those demon entities to attach themselves to them, but they just didn't understand what they were getting themselves into, right? Until it was too far gone. Okay, Seven of Wands, Andromalius, right? So with this Seven of Wands energy, this is like Seven of Wands in reverse. So this is a very, this is an energy of all these people and their plans stalling out, trying to stop you, right? And I feel now, what did this come up in? Did this come up in the, um, maybe it was the Cancer reading he came up right there where it's almost like this surrendering sort of energy. They're like, I wonder if Scorpio actually knows or the trifling shit I've done to them. Maybe I can go in and try and make amends and get on their side, you know? Because I see they're winning now, right? It's this sort of energy. See how he looks like he's surrendering? Like, okay, I put my hands up, right? Returns items and punishes thieves. So this is a very, like... This is the energy that now turns on all these other people. One of these people turns. I feel like this is going to happen in the future. You're going to hear from somebody from this group of individuals that tried to do all this trifling shit to you, right? One of them is going to come forward and actually fess up in hopes of offsetting karma. But the thing is, Scorpio, it doesn't matter how high vibe you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing for the collective. You're not the keeper of karma, and they don't understand that, right? What's done is done. You can't do anything about it. Elias, King of Swords. So this is like uh, King of Swords in reverse. So this is like this... It's like a con, man. It's with King of Swords in reverse, right? Reveals knowledge of forthcoming battles and procures the favor of lords and kings. So this is an energy here that might come through and try and tell you what these people are going to try and do moving forward. Wow. Unbelievable. And it's Mercury retrograde too. So this actually really makes sense that this energy is coming back up again. Ace of Pentacles, Lucifuge, Raphael, right? So this is like Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this is all related to money. Some of these people could have taken life insurance policies out on you guys. This has been coming up in the readings. Um, and it's just what I'm getting intuitively. I saw a comment, I think it was um, just the past couple days, where somebody asked if there was a way to check to see if somebody's taking a life insurance policy out on you. I actually don't know. I don't know. Um, but I actually don't think so. I don't think you can check something like that. You would think you would be able to, right? Okay. What do we have at the heart position? Knight of Pentacles. Deca Carabia. Deca Rabia. Deca Rabia. Okay. <laughs> uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is like Nine of Pentacles in reverse, right? So this is just like this very stubborn energy. It's this is. See, the thing is about these energies, Scorpio, it's like everybody has the potential to go out and get their own, right? But these energies here, for whatever reason, they just want to stop you from getting yours and think that they can take what you have coming towards you. Huh. Interesting, right? I mean, do they not understand how the universe works? It's like you get what you put out, period. That's it. Okay. Sabnak. Five of Swords. Okay, so this is like Five of Swords in reverse, right? So this is just like this energy of it's being caught. It's like these energies have now been caught or they're about to be caught. I feel like there's going to be a lot of illumination, Scorpio. I feel like it's going to be happening soon, like the first quarter of this year. I've been saying this, the first quarter of this year. I think I said it last year in some other readings. What do we have at the third eye? Three of Swords. Okay, so this is like Three of Swords. 
I'm reading this as a reversal right now, right? So this is them, I feel, trying to come in and apologize. One of them, I feel, is going to come in and try and make amends and apologize and say that they didn't know any better, that they were manipulated, this and that, okay? One of these energies from these five people, or it could be a lot more than this, it's just at least five people, I feel. Uh, one of them is going to come in and try and side with you, but I would definitely would not entertain that at all, Scorpio. Um, you may just need to take what you need from the conversation, get the information you need and keep it pushing. Uh, a lot of you guys are keeping to yourselves right now and have, you guys have a lot of protection around you. You're not messing with bringing in, uh, energies from the past. I mean, that's just really, that's a really bad call right now. I would not be doing that at all. Okay. What do we have at the crown position? Seven of Pentacles, okay? So with this Seven of Pentacles energy, this is just really, Scorpio, this is just you guys really, you guys have been really patient on this journey, okay? And the thing is with Scorpio, it takes it takes a while for Scorpio to start seeing the fruits of their labor, okay? Um, Scorpio is the house of transformation. So Scorpio needs to set an example when it comes to matters of transformation. So you don't really get any quick fixes. Scorpios have to fully transform and set an example for the other zodiac signs, right? And then you start getting the fruits of your labor, okay? This is just how it works for Scorpio. But when you start getting all those blessings coming through, it's like a freaking tsunami, Scorpio, okay? All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. All my social media links are down there as well. And thank you very much for your donation, Scorpio. I really appreciate it. Take care.